Okay, this is the CR10S4 that I'm thinking of selling. I'm using the stock screen and knob, but it's got an SKR 1.4. I think this one's the non-turbo version. 100 megahertz instead of 120. Not a big deal. Um, I do use Z align because these have two Z steppers. I use that on both these printers. Um, but that's actually controlled in my Um, start G code. But it has a lot of the same menus, they're just accessed differently, obviously, not being a touch screen. Um, you see all the same stuff I have turned on. Even the TMC driver current hybrid. And in a way, this layout's actually better than the touch screen layout but it's very similar. I've got my run out sensor on, as you can see it there. I don't really understand the way this one mounted, so. Hope you can read that pretty good so this makes sense. I've been just doing nothing but a uh, Mandalorian helmets that guy right there Mandalorian but uh, nobody's really buying them from me I'm not much of a businessman I don't really understand it so I might go over the things I've done to this ridiculous machine this is just PEI sheet I didn't like the original glass sheet that was on it it's right here um, PEI is just way better in my opinion this is a uh, Micro Swiss direct drive hot end and extruder combo costs like 130 bucks from Micro Swiss. Way way nicer in my opinion. Obviously the Antec Lab BL Touch, um, the TMC 2209 drivers on the SKR 1.4. Uh, I haven't gotten around to this stuff yet. This is a solid state relay, which will enable me to use an AC bed heater, which this is a silicone AC bed heater. This is a Pi 4 with two gigabytes of RAM. I was gonna start using this fan. This actually goes underneath this box here and mounts it, sort of, if that makes sense. This box sits on top of this. This blows extra air into the driver board and stuff. Um, this is for doing the hotbed and the external MOSFET, MOSFET. A lot of people recommend that. I haven't actually gotten around to it. This is to power the Pi 4 from the internal power supply. It's an inverter, buck, a buck converter they call it. And there's a fan for the Pi. That's all the junk I haven't gotten around to putting in here yet. Um, it was really hot in my garage for a few days and I just didn't do a whole lot, but... I didn't know how to do this very well. I basically cut so my new board would let me get to the USB and the SD. And then I just put black tape over my rough cutting because it was ugly. You can't tell very good in the photo, but uh, video I mean. But there it is. This piece does 400 by 400 by 400 and I can go in and show. Well, actually I printed that on there. Um, I printed Mandalorian helmets on there three of them i think so far but anyways 